Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to do my March budget. I'm super excited for this and I feel like it's really late um, doing it right now even though I know it's not March yet but normally I have this done like a week before the month start starts and doing it like this so close this close to the beginning of March stresses me out so let's go ahead and get started so if you guys are somewhat new to my channel then you probably don't know this um, in January really in December I started making stickers for my budget planner and so I have those available on Etsy if you guys want to check them out one thing that I want to mention though is just be careful because there is um, a shop that is tagging me in their stickers. Um, so just make sure you're purchasing from the right shop. A bunch of people have reached out. A bunch of you guys have reached out and just said, Hey, like, just let you know, I almost purchased from the wrong shop. So I just wanted to point that out there. Um, I will also have April stuff released sometime this week. I have it all designed. I've had it designed for a while, but I am working on getting it printed and cut so that I have a good amount on hand so you guys can get stuff ahead of time. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and start March. So what I like to do, and I've talked about this in a lot of different videos, but with the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, you get one, two, three, four, five, blank sheets of paper. And what I really like to do is I like to put my variable income stuff here. So like my business income, um, everything involving YouTube, my Etsy shop, all of that. Um, I also keep track of my expenses here. And then I like to track all of our like home expenses here as well. Um, and I have a little key. You guys probably see that all the time in my weekly check-in page. Um, on this on these two sheets, I like to have my budget over here and my weekly check-in page. And that's just so that I can refer back and forth to each other um, as I am going through the month. And then I usually have my sinking funds here and my transaction log for my sinking funds. So that's how I set it up. Um, and the last couple of videos that I've done, I tried to show you guys that because I know a lot of people see the separate budget videos and don't know how they all fit together. So I figured I'd mention that. Um, so what I like to do is I like to start by putting some thick washi at the top and really that's just so that I can make it a little cute. If it's cute, I will look at it and it will keep me interested and I need that when it comes to budgeting. Um, especially now, I was just making sure that it, I didn't do it too far up. Especially now because when I first started budgeting like two years ago using my Erin Condren Planner, I was so excited about using it. I was excited about the whole process. And so it was really easy to get into it. Nowadays, it seems like sometimes I like doing it and I'm like excited to see how we're doing. And then other times I'm just like, oh, have to do budget stuff today. So keeping it cute keeps me interested. That's the main point with all of that. So with my budget stickers and the way that I like to set up my budget, I like to put my income at the top. Um, and I don't show my income, you guys know all of that but I just choose not to for a number of reasons. And I really keep, I have two sources of income as of right now. I have my salary for my accounting job and I have all of my variable income, which is YouTube, Etsy, all of that. Um, and so I like to have two different spaces for that. Obviously my, um, my salary is ev the same every single month. I get paid two times a month and it's always the same, but my variable income can, can dramatically change depending on a lot of different factors. So I do like to kind of do the estimated and actual for that reason for that. Um, but for my salary, it doesn't really, it's always usually the same unless, um, when I pass CP exams, I get $250 added to my salary. So that's a nice feature. So now I'm putting the expenses down and let's see, I think I'm just gonna do it all the way to the bottom. Even if it's, I don't have expenses all the way to the bottom. Hopefully I have enough room. So my budget doesn't change very much during the, uh, dur ev blah, 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 blah. what am I saying? My, um, my budget really doesn't change a ton month to month. It's usually pretty similar to, um, the previous months. This month is no different. It's going to be pretty similar to 
um, months in the past because I try, um, I really try hard. I'm going to use my bigger one. I try hard to set up my budget so that my sinking funds really um, help with any types of like uncertain timing and all of that. Um, I don't like my budget to fluctuate a ton. I like to try and save as much as I can um, and I don't want to save a bunch in one month and not that much in another month and so sinking funds help a lot with that. So I just personally like to draw out my line so I know where I'm going um, in my budget. So I'm doing that first and I don't care if it's perfect. Honestly, this is more of I, it's funny because I like the stickers and I want it to look cute, but the lines being perfect does not bother me. Okay, so lines are done. So now it's all set up and we can go ahead and fill in numbers. Like I said, I don't, I don't put down my income, although I can go ahead and put salary in variable up here. And then the expenses that I have, um, we do own a house, so we have our mortgage. We have our electric. And I'm just gonna write out all of our amounts and then fill in the budget amount. We have gas for our house, we have cable and internet. We also have Netflix. Um, I use Apple Music. I rarely listen to music in the car anymore because I just can't stand commercials. Um, I just, when I'm in the car, I love like singing along and everything and my commute is not that long so when the whole time it's just commercials, it drives me crazy. So we have Apple Music, we also have Amazon Prime. I include it in our personal budget, although I do use it for the most part for my like business stuff. <clears throat> but occasionally, like recently, we've been using it for, how, for home stuff, so I just figure might as well put it with home stuff. And then um, we have our car, we have gas for our car, <clears throat> groceries and then we have some cash dividers or cash clips um, we have eating out and if you haven't already checked out my new cash divider system definitely go check it out I love my new wallet it's working out really nicely for um, for our cash dividers we also use household and cash dividers and that's, I don't know, I don't think we would overspend if we did household um, with like a debit card or a credit card, but it's just something that we've been doing for a while and I actually kind of like it because if Jason needs to buy something from Ace, um, from the hardware store, I can just give him $20, he can get a new filter or whatever he needs. So we have household, then we have our haircuts, which includes Jason's haircut and um, my eyebrows every month. Um, I do have a coffee category. Um, this is usually something like a little incentive that I have when I'm studying. Um, a lot of these categories, I wanted to first start off by saying that some of these categories we have never had in our budget. Some of them are recent and a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're kind of at a place where we can put those in our budget. We didn't always have um, Apple Music or Amazon Prime. We didn't always have a coffee category, but um, we've kind of learned that as you get better with cutting things that you don't need, um, sometimes you can add in fun things. And again, some of the things like Apple Music, I obviously don't need. I could listen to the radio. It's not that big of a deal, um, but it's, it's just something a little nice that you can treat yourself to since we're in a good, a better place financially. Um, but again, if you are working on paying off debt 
if you have some type of goal in mind for savings, then there are lots of areas in our budget that we could cut if we wanted to. So just keep that in mind. Do what works for you, but for us, um, this is what's kind of working. And then we have our sinking funds. And I will have that video up tomorrow, all about our sinking funds. And then I like to put in an unbudgeted spot in our budget. We don't have any money allocated here. It's more of a placeholder so that if we have anything that's unbudgeted, I have a place to put the actual. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through what um, we have in terms of budgeted money here. So our electric, I'm budgeting $75 for that. Our gas, I'm budgeting 60. These have not changed a ton. And honestly, one downfall of doing my budget so early is that I haven't received either of those bills for um, February. So I don't know if it's in line with the recent trend, but normally that's around what we should expect. Our cable and internet is 130. 45. Our Netflix is $13.99. Apple Music is $9.99. And our Amazon Prime is $6.49. Um, okay, then for gas for our car, I like to give us around $130. That might be a little bit less than this might actually end up being, gas might be a little bit less than 130. Um, I didn't mention this, and I'll probably mention this in my weekly check, or in my sinking funds video, but we are going to um, visit my sister in Florida for a little bit over a week. And so during a whole week, we won't be using our cars, which means that our gas will be lower. So um, that is one nice, <laughs> nice thing about going on vacation, although I'm assuming that other aspects may be a little bit more expensive. For groceries for this month, I'm going to give us $625. And the way that I do that is I just take the number of Sundays in a month and then I multiply it. This time I gave us $125 per week. Um, again, it's just something that we've kind of noticed over time that we are averaging around and we've been having people over our house a little bit more, um, entertaining a little bit more. So we want to have a little bit money, a little bit more money added in so that we can do that and not go over budget. Okay. So for eating out, we're going to give us 225 and for household, I'm going to go with $100. There are a lot of things that we need to stock up in the house. I know for sure we are going to need new toothbrushes. Me and Jason, I still have not gotten to that. Um, that's how the CPA exam um, treats you. You don't get to anything household related for a while. Um, I know we're going to need laundry soap. And just, I, I know Macy needs baby wash and stuff like that. So um, we'll definitely need some money for that type of stuff. Um, for haircuts, I'm going to give us $30, and that is really $15 for Jason's haircut and $15 for my eyebrows, so not too bad. And then for coffee, I'm going to give me $40. I am on a short, short break from studying from the CPA. I will start back again um, probably, let's see, I think it's going to be the 10th or so or maybe the 11th, I find out my score on the 8th, and so I'll start studying again that Monday, um, whether that means restudying the same section or studying reg, I don't know yet. Um, I'm, I talked about it in my video all about how I thought it, it went, and I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, but honestly, I have no idea what to expect. Um, and then for sinking funds, we are putting in $1,413. And again, the video that will talk about how that's broken down into all of our sinking funds will be up tomorrow. I'm gonna to film that right now. And we have $0 going into our unbudgeted column. Um, so that is our March budget. And again, nothing dramatically changes. Um, you know, our groceries has kind of gradually increased a little bit just because of the fact that seems like that's kind of where we're heading a little bit more again. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with us entertaining a little bit more, which I love. 
I think one of my favorite things is having people over our house. And when we bought our house, we didn't think that it was going to be super doable. Our house is not big at all. Um, but we've been making it work. And I'm it's one of the things that we both really enjoy is having people over. Macy get, loves it because normally people that come over have kids. So um, it is definitely something that we're okay with. So anyway, that's our March budget. Let me know if you guys have set your March budget up. If you guys want to check out my shop, I will have a link down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.